We had history on our side. There should have been confidence placed behind our organization and our efforts to convene peacefully once again. Well, tonight we're hearing from the organizers of the March to the Polls rally who ended up in jail after the movement stalled in the streets. Now, you've seen the video of Grand Police deploying pepper spray and making arrests. Within the last few hours, though, a police spokesperson releasing the detailed discussions and options that were shared with Reverend Gregory Drumright. Well, good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Rashida Kaba. Danny has the night off. Well, Fox 8's Tyler Harden spoke to a mother who brought her three year old to that march. Now, but first, Tyler, you read the emails and options that were on the table for this march. Was it clear about the use of the streets, though? Well, in the five different options showed it, it showed different paths that the different participants could take on that march up to a certain point. There was no agreement where an entire road will be closed for the entire march. Now, police told us today that they tried to set up a walkthrough with the Reverend, but he never showed up. Yeah. Reverend Gregory Drumright never expected pepper spray to be used during his march to the polls event in Graham on Saturday. My eyes are still burning from the tear gas. Right. My face is still on fire from the tear gas. Right. The peaceful march took a turn when around 200 people kneeled on South Main Street in front of the Alamance County Courthouse Square for 8 minutes and 46 seconds in honor of George Floyd. Police respected that moment, but told Fox 8 shortly after the tribute they ordered people out of the street for safety reasons. We were not wanting to authorize because it would limit access to the voting polls, so we didn't want to have anything to do to interfere with that. Instead of closing the street, the police chief and the city officials were intent on creating a public hazard, a public safety hazard by allowing cars to circle that courthouse while we were convening a peaceful rally. These documents show no permits were ever issued to close down the road because deadlines were missed. Grand Police Lieutenant Daniel Sisk says when the large crowd refused to move out of the street and officers' warnings were ignored, they used pepper spray. They had no intention to clear the road. We sprayed a couple sprays on the ground and the crowds moved to the respective areas where they were at. Some of that spray came in the direction of local activist Dewana Bigelow and her three-year-old daughter Zoe. First reaction was to scoop my daughter up, try to cover her head up, try to keep her protected for, um, from more of that substance. We didn't want anybody to get hurt, and the fact that the, a child was exposed to the, the pepper fog is, is unfortunate. Dewana and Reverend Drumright are asking for more to be done. I want, we want accountability. Let me tell you something. We were beaten, but we're not going to be broken. Graham police arrested eight people and say an officer was assaulted. He was hit in the chest. Tomorrow we expect to hear from members of the Alamance County Sheriff's Office. They have a news conference starting at 3.30. Reverend Drumright says that he plans to lead another march to the polls on Election Day starting at 9 a.m. Live in Graham tonight, Tyler Harden, Fox 8 News.